revolution. Look, Marklins, on standby. Log online. Fam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast. I'm Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Tonight I have the whole crew. Mig Chainsaw Chester, retired. What? <laughs> Jana, Mig Death by Gucci, active. And then Jennifer, the Mafia Wars loot lady. And then in the back, hiding out, the birthday boy, Mike Nestor. So Did you let him out of the hopper? Yeah, you heard him. Holy shit. Just shep. said, what's up? Only He's for his coming. birthday. Oh. Just for my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday there, Nestor. Hope you're having a good Thank day. Thank you, asshat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now get back in there. <laughs> okay. Yes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Did everybody have a good Christmas? That would make me your daddy. Yes. Good. Except yes. for the Zanga side of it, but <sighs> the real think... life side of it was good. Did you get anything fun? I did. I got a lot of fun stuff. I got a new amp for my guitar so I can rock really loud. Cool. Scary. Yeah, I know. Some fun stuff. That's There's cool. Shredding, huh? Santa... Yeah. Sa- Santa brought us an Xbox. Oh. 360 with the Kinect. That's crazy it's fun. It looks it like is. it. We play, the, we play the, the Ninja, Fruit Ninja that they have for like the, did, the iPod did and you... iPad and whatnot. Go ahead. Oh, I said, did you? Yes, I have. Cool. It now, is... did you have to download that, do the digital download? Yes. See, my brother bought me the Kinect for the 360 upstairs, but I've got a banned box because I hacked mine. Hacker! Hacker! Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, no, I, so we got, well, actually, the, the Fruit Ninja came free with the Kinect. I mean, quasi-free, you know, Santa brought it, so it was free anyway, so. Anyway, couldn't beat that, but that's a crazy wild game. And that Kinect is really cool. We've we've had a Wii for a number of years, and, you know, you have to use the controllers and everything else. It's something else to just be standing there and then using your own hands. And so does it work through a camera? Kind of, Yeah, there's a camera that sits on top of the television that has a sensor, has a microphone and everything built into it, and then it detects and it takes body, body of shape. You as you're doing this shit. Yeah, it's crazy. So- Oh, that does sound cool. And you do it, you're unsuspecting, and all of a sudden, what the hell just happened? Well, it's crazy in this game here, because, like, in the background, you see your shadow, and it's it's a representation of you. I mean, it's it's kind of cool. I mean, really, when you... So some kind of technology there in I use. I love technology. Yeah. And you know what's actually powering everything? God. What? <laughs> you got it. The TI chip. Oh. TI has two two chips in it that actually do all, most of that stuff. Oh, I see what you're saying. So thanks, TI. Yes, thank you for that contribution. Oh, that's from where you work. Yes, that's where oh, I work. Cool. Wow, not just calculators. <laughs> that's correct. Not just Logitech. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, almost every cell phone out there, except for like Nokia's and HTC's, all run on TI chips. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's an endorsement for you. So you'll be in business for a while. Everything from Texas Instruments. Yes. They should pay you for advertising on the show. Yeah, he's got a job at least. Yeah, I think he's saying as long as they keep paying me to do my job, I'll be okay. It's job security. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. So anything going on this week, Pete? Let's yeah. See. We've we've got something in the hopper. It's not it's not a tremendously big deal, but it is kind of a big deal. For a long time, I've talked about in the Golden Toolbar, we have the backup options. And um, the backup options had only been tied to only doing the toolbar. And we finally decided to extend that functionality. And it's not been turned on publicly yet. It's still in testing, but it will be here before too long. And now you can actually back up your family mafia stats, your stats history, um, and all that on the server. So then if you end up moving machines or whatever else, you can end up restoring that information back and then not have to worry about where you saved it on your local machine or whatever else. And it actually came in kind of handy for me, and this will get a little bit technical in nature, but, you know, Facebook has really been pushing for everybody to go to secure 
Facebook, right? So the HTTPS that shows up in front of your browser URL indicates that you're on a secure server. Well, for, I've kind of put it off for a while. And, and so I actually switched <laughs> to the secure version and all my um, Spocklet data was gone. And it, I actually did a backup um, using the, the golden toolbar with all these options. And then I was able to actually just restore them back on the other side because when you actually... I say it's like the other side. When you restore on the um, HTTPS side, the cookies and everything are different for that's that particular URL. And so you'll lose your settings. So it allowed me to go in and just restore all my settings. And then now that I'm on the secure side, I've got all my stats that carry with me, which is kind of handy because like our family stats, I keep, you know, a running stat from the beginning of each month to see where you know players are performing and we kind of set a threshold in our family that you had to have you know a thousand um, some in the family manager which would indicate you're at least doing something towards family progression and uh, if I had lost that that would have been kind of messy so that was that um, the other thing I don't know if this will ever become public necessarily it may only go out to, to the golden toolbar users here in a little bit uh, Martin threw together uh, something today uh, for the um, the resolutions voting and um, it'll actually tell you where each of the votes are on each of the different items and so um, you know it's not going to last very long but it may be something that we'll release and make available in the toolbar for those people that are golden toolbar users um, let me think what else. Assassinator got a couple of fine tuning and tweaks here and there. There are some reports out there that people are having problems with it failing after so long. Um, we're still trying to figure out how to get the best refined settings, how it's making its calls and stuff. So, you know, we'll continue to work on that. And then I think that's probably about it for the moment. Unless Jen suggests something else here in a minute on me. I'm sure she'll remind you. Oh, yes. <laughs> the gift blaster was updated. To oh, yeah. Accommodate gift the, blaster. To accommodate the mission task in the New Year's resolution event, That's, yep. you have to get 200 supports from your mafia. Yep. Oh, dear. Yes. Well, that the gift blaster was set up so only when you had an active mission crew would task in your, mm -hmm. in your missions, it would show up. But this is an event, not a mission, so it didn't come over. And how long does this last until the fourth? Is that what I think? Yeah, that's days? when they'll announce the winners. I guess we should talk about the events. Since yeah, we're explain it to us. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's actually quite simple, but has created a lot of drama. There's six loot items that we've seen in the past year, and they all have the same stats. They're all 102, 102, and they're all henchmen. And Jana is one of them, the, the Miss Pack. And they put the name Party on all the items. So what you're to do is collect votes and you get votes by doing tasks, which are very similar to missions, but they're like very exaggerated. Like, like we just said, you have to get 200 support from your mafia. One of them, you have 2, to like, win. Wins. yeah, 20, 2,500 fights in Chicago. There's a lot of robbing, but there's a bug in the robbing, a glitch. Oh, um, it, a it says a Grinch. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it says you have to clear, um, a hundred robbing boards in Chicago, but actually any robbing board will work. And the other wow. task is to um, rob 500 times in Italy. So if you do Italy first, all those robbing boards you clear will get credited towards the other um, task. Oh. So anyways, when you finish each task, there's 10 of them, you get one vote and that's all you get. And you take your vote and you go over to the six loot items and you pick the one you want. And when you vote, it'll tell you how many votes that item has. Well, that's the only way to find out. So that's why Team Spotcom kind of threw together something that will tell us the number of votes for all the items. And there could be a strategy if the community band together and everyone picked the same loot item. So you would keep voting for that one because when you do vote for it, you get the item in your inventory and it will have stats of 102 and 102. But after the voting process is over, the stats will increase. On the top three? or On the top, top three items, yeah. And so the same the, amount or does it go no, in No. Like the top okay. item, the number I, one item, will have stats of 122 and 122. 
and then the number two item will be less and the number three item even less than that. I see. And then the other um, three items will stay at 102 and 102. It, it, it's 122, 112, and 107. So they're the same for attack and defense. Okay. So here's the situation. Obviously, we want Miss Pack to win because we like Jana. But the way it's laid out, when you go to the voting board, the Shadow King is the very first one. So human nature, that's going to be the default. And that, that one actually has the most votes as of right now. And so there's a big push by, you know, clans, families, whatever you want to call them, you know, my page, other pages, we're all saying, hey, vote for Miss Pack. And so, you know, our followers and fans are like, yeah, cool, go Miss Pack. Well, then there's a group of people that are like, they screw like that. Him. They think the Shadow King is going to win. So they want to have all their Shadow items. Shadow King is an ass hat. I know, but he, he's first in line. What Zynga should do is rotate the order so the same item isn't always in the number one position. Right. But I think they did this on purpose. I think they I think they made Jana last so that the community would push to get her votes and she would kind of automatically be trailing because she's not number one. And then maybe, just maybe, all of us would spend reward points to buy these votes, which you can buy one vote for 20 reward points or three for 50 reward points. That's a lot. I know. Yeah, that is a tremendous amount. I think that's a lot. Yeah. Well, actually, the, the people that do buy a lot of loot items, it's a better deal because they're normally spending 35 reward points for a marketplace loot item. And if they can buy a lot of these at 20 reward points each or three for 50, gear, you know, assuming that they're buying the first place item, then they're going to put a lot of money into that. Oh, so or for each item. vote, you're still getting... That number that, of that, items. Yeah, you get a loot item. You okay. just don't know what the stats are going gotcha. to be until right. it's all okay. over. Each vote is yeah. a loot item. And okay. how it works is every 24 hours, you get one free vote. Woo! And you get one free vote for each task, and there's 10 tasks. Where's the woo? Woo! Okay. And then if you do all 10 <laughs> tasks, which is going to be difficult because there's one where you have to upgrade a property um, six times. And the event's only like six days. So, yeah. But anyways, yeah. So you if have to you build could, it six times. Right. Um, and it would take... Let's buy it. Well, you, it would take four and a half days if you got the timers all right, right away. Yeah. Like if you were Mike Nestor and set your alarm clock to get up. I can't do it. Right. None of us can. That's what except for saying. Mike Nestor. <laughs> so, anyways, if you do all ten, you get an extra vote. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And then, of course, if you want to buy them. And now when you do, if you do all 10, in addition to that free vote, you get a massive experience bonus, which is 110% of your experience required to get to the next level. So if you do get those 10 missions complete, you want to make sure when you accept it or do your last little thing that um, you've used all your energy and stamina because you're going to level up and you'll refill. Woohoo! No. Not really. Yeah. And I know it's, it's 110%. I don't know. It's a bit excessive. And then the board will reset and you can do all 10 again. Don't you and think then, it's interesting that Nate ended up in this? Yeah. Um, there's a party Nate. Remember he had a loot item in the beat the devs event. Isn't mm -hmm. he gay? April Fool's. No, he's not gay. We don't, we don't think sure? so. He's married. He does a great gay kids. guy though. It's a cover. Hey, look, the, well, he at least has a wide stance, right? <laughs> I um, don't know. You spent more it's time with him than the rest of yeah. us. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> That's why and I say all these yeah. things. <laughs> so we have Nate, Jana, the Shadow King, the Zombie, um, Ma, which was the lady from the Death by Ice event, and the Astronaut from the crates. But he And all of these items got spruced up with confetti and they're holding New Year's party stuff. Yeah, I don't even have a drink in my hands. <laughs> There's some you have a little. One of, you have one of those spinny things I know, that make all the noise. I'm gonna need a drink. <laughs> At least they put something in your hand. I know. So it's I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. I think it's cool because I'm a New Year's baby. So I think it's oh. kind of kind of cool that I get the New Year's deal. So. so how do you feel about? Well, you were a New Year's Eve baby. New There's Year's a Eve. Yes. A New I Year's baby and a New Year's true. Eve baby. True. So I like my sash. 
think it's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it'll be fun to see. Um, I think because it's so early in the voting process, it's hard to really tell. But when there is an obvious winner, I think strategic players are going to go over and vote for that one. And a, a lot of people are saying they're going to hold on to their votes 